hello, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has sent photograph of dog. Pictures from all over the world have come and they have helped. It makes me very happy to see pictures of Australian dog and Brazilian dog and British dog. If situation was different, this would be very funny. But situation is not different. I am still suffering. The pain is growing very strong every day. It feels like the dying. <clears throat> thank, thank you for your help, but please, I ask you, send more photograph of dog. <clears throat> for those that do not know me, I am man living in ex-Soviet Republic. I have had very bad accident at <laughs> Photograph of dog is the only thing that is medicine. Please, please send. Before the accident, I, I was only l living with dog in apartment. Her name is Dasha, and she is Springer Spaniel lady dog. She has very kind eyes, but she is very she is very naughty. It, it is because of Dasha that accident happens. I am not angry at her. I I love her. I should have been more careful. I should have listened to the stories about. I work home from computer. Last week there was a big project. I spent many hours on computer. Desha is apartment dog, but her soul she is the hunting dog. She make the barking at me a lot when I have to go to work and she see I am busy. She sleep. She naughty dog, but she good dog. After a big project I decide I will reward Desha. I will give her many treat, but I am also promise her running. Where I live is big housing project with cement and factory. It is not good for the running, it is not good for dogs. I borrow my cousin car and we drive from city to forest. Closest forest to city is not very far. Not many people visit because the is near. When I was growing up I heard many stories about it from uncles. They say it's all science building from the Stalin time. They say it's a bad place. They tell a scary story. I never believe. <laughs> Even as a child, I think I am a rational man. When they warn me not to go to I, I think they are being idiots. When we arrive at the edge of forest, Desha runs like a bullet. She is full of excitement and athletic dog. I try to run after her, but I am not very athletic. I call for her, but she is not listening. Desha is a kind dog. When even she was puppy, she didn't listen. I do not mind, you know. I know she will run around and come back, but while Dasha does the running, I walk through the forest. It is very peaceful. Sometimes I hear her jumping, but it's mainly birds. Air is nice and warm, and you can smell factory. It's nice. The trees are very nice and green, and while walking, I'm feeling very nice and good. It's nice. I start to think that maybe forest isn't just good for Dasha, but maybe good for me also. After walking for quarter of hour or two quarter hour, walking the forest starts to get strange. Birds stop, trees start to look sick. Gentle wind disappear and start to smelling like bad swamp. Deshe has better nose than me, but she does not for caring. She she keeps going. She keeps on running through the dead leaves and having the fun. I watch her smile and play and I smile too. But then I I stop smiling. I see the It is big cement house, no windows, only one big door. The trees around it are dead on the ground. It has parking lot but no road. Inside there is a, a moat, big hole filled with water that is very dirty. It smells like infected wound. I yell for Desha to come back but she is too curious. She climbs up on one of the fallen tree and jumps over the water to the... The building makes me very scared and I don't want Desha to get hurt. I, I, I yell more but she's not listening. With leash I try across the same dead tree Desha cross but there is problem. Her little dog legs are not as heavy as my man feet. The tree is breaking and I fall into dirty water. It does not feel like just water. As soon as I am landing I, I feel pain. It is like acid on my skin. I yell and I scream. Dasha did not listen for me to calling her name, but when I yell in fear she ran over to like an emergency to me. I quickly climb out of water so Dasha does not feel same pain. 
I want to keep her safe. Getting out of dirty water doesn't stop pain, but is hurting less. As soon as Desha sees I am safe, she runs again, but toward Car. With wet and painful footsteps, I walk back to Cousin Car. When falling into water, I was very unhappy. I thought fall and dirty water was the worst part of my day. I was being wrong. When I get home, I throw away all my clothes and get concerned. Where the water touch, there is boil. My skin looks like mushroom. Even slight touch cause hurt. Desha is sleeping when we get home, but when she sees me going to kitchen, she follows. I put garlic and honey on the skin, hoping for healing. It does not help. The garlic just makes pain worse, and honey is very sticky. When I put honey on my feet, Desha licked them, but still hurt. I decide to take shower. When I see myself in bathroom mirror, I become even more concerned. My skin turning very red, very big, and there are very hard white dots everywhere. Touching them very painful. When I get in shower, cold water feel good. But it do not feel good for very long. On my back it feels like sharp pinching. I touch my back in one white dot. It is pulsing a beat of my heart. For a moment I try to ignore. I try to pretend everything okay, but I feel another pinch. I reach back and there is new painful boil under my finger. Stupidly I grab it and try to pull it out, hoping to end of the helping. The pain does not end. It gets very worse. As I pull the pulsing pimple out of my back it gets long. Every time I pull I feel sick. It is like I need throwing up, but it's not my stomach that feels sick. It is everything, my entire body, my entire soul. I stop pulling quickly, but the pain makes me scream. The bastard neighbor below bangs his broom on the ceiling and Dash starts to the barking. I want to stay in the quiet. I want to stay in the calm. But there is another pinch. I look down at my arm and scream again. White worm is coming out of my arm. There is more pinches. With every pinch I feel another pale head coming out of me. They spin and stretch trying to get out of my body. Their little black eyes blinking as they look around the bathroom. Every time I move I feel the weakness. Every centimeter I they crawl and I scream louder and louder. I feel the death. Even though I'm in bathroom in city all I smell is swamp. The worms are being everywhere. They are coming out of my legs, out of my chest. They are crawling out of me and I can feel it killing me. <laughs> Screaming, I jump out of shower and I run to front door. I am ready to run to my bastard neighbor and ask for help. I do not care anything other than stopping pain. <laughs> but then as I reach front door, pain stops. Tisha goes quiet and watches the worms. There is many of them now, but they stop trying to crawl out. They move back into the skin with their big black eyes and they look at Dasha. For a moment I am happy that the worms are calm, but they are very big concern. Hoping to get help from neighbor, I put my pants on and go downstairs. While I dress, the worms are being calm. They watch Desha and Dasha watch them. But when I leave apartment without dog, the pain starts again. As soon as Dasha is behind door, the worms start growing again. There is more worms, they are crawl from my neck, they crawl from my fingers. I start screaming again. Desha start barking. Neighbor yelling too. I open door. As soon as worms see the dog, they are calm. Scared, I put Desha on leash and walk to neighbor. When I knocked, he's screaming. He is too blind with anger about me making noise to hear me asking for helps. It is not until he opened up eye hole and door his tone change. What happened to you? He asks. I fall in water near Please help me, I reply. My god, you are a stupid idiot. We're going to Everyone knows no man should go there. Get away from my home before you get me sick too. He says, and then he puts extra locks on door. I yell for more help, but he does not answer. He is bastard. I go back home with big concern. But when I get home, the concern grow even bigger. The worms see very interested in Desha. When they could look at her, they do not hurt me. When their big black eye would watch her, I would not feel like I was being pulled from the inside. But not anymore. When I get home, the worms slowly start pull out of skin. Desha is right there, but they do not caring. 
more crawl from my skin. They are crazy, throwing themselves side to side as they come out. <laughs> Screaming, I run to kitchen. Desha is barking behind me. Best of neighbors, banging ceiling with broom again. Everything is madness. Everything madness and I feel like I am the dying. The worms, there have very many of them now. Their mouthless heads were starting to extend longer than my fingers. Every centimeter they grow is more screaming for me. I grab a big knife and put my hand on board to cutting. <laughs> maybe I can cut off the worms. I think maybe I make screaming ends. Desha was barking but also licking feet. With every lick I could feel more worms pulling from under my skin. I need to get rid of the worms. I need to cut. But as I looked at my arm, all the moving life that came from under the skin, I knew that I could not cut. They were everywhere. There were too many of them. If I cut, it would be bleeding to death. But they were still pulling. I felt like I was on drunk on the carnival ride going to fist. My body being ripped out from beneath me and I transformed into massive alien life. Everything so painful. The only thing I could think of was more honey and garlic. The pain too much. I was running out of strength. I was thinking I am about to pass out. The worms keep on verming, growing inside me, hurting me. But then, just as I feel my legs starting to slip, all is stopping. All pain disappear. All the worms are retreating back under my skin. Their black eyes blinking and watching. Looking at the same place, the, the fridge. When I first get Dashi, she was very small dog. Her ears sometimes be wrong on her head, but they always make me smile. So I take picture when she is puppy, and put the photograph on the fridge so I can smile when I am having a bad day. Picture did not make me smile that day, but it was making the pain stop. All the worms were now watching out the skin with the big black eyes. They are all looking at picture of puppy Dashi with her ears wrong. It did not make sense, but I understood. I went to computer and finding every single puppy picture Desha I could find. When picture on screen, worms are being calm. When picture gone, worms grow and I scream. At first I am proud of figuring out worms, but I soon start to worrying again. The longer they look at the picture, the more they blink. When they start to blink too long, they start to growing again. With screams waiting in back of my mouth, I went on Twitter. I go to strangers around the world and I am asking for pictures of dog. In less than quarter of hour I have many pictures of dog. Florida dog and Scottish dog and Thailand dog and many people send many pictures. These pictures count my worms. I am still scared but the kindness of strangers makes me happy. I love the cute picture and some of them even make me they laughing. I have trouble thanking new friends because my English not too good and I can't do too proper explanation. So I am posting video showing what happened. I show worms. I show Desha. I tell how much hope they are bringing with their kindness. I am posting video thinking it will explain situation. That it will make others happy. I am banned from Twitter 5 minutes after posting. Everything picture dog is taken away. I'm left with only pictures of Desha and fear. Twitter will not responding to my email or phone call. This is why I am here on Reddit. Please consider my poor soul. I am man doing the begging. I need more pictures of dog. I do not too caring if it is good photograph or not. The worms not caring too. Just please help me. I not wanting to scream again. I do not wanting to die. If worms not in my body, if worms not seeing the dog, I will be torn apart. Please send picture of dog. Bless you. If you are ever in my country and I survive this, I will buy you lunch and thank you in person. But if you are ever in my country, making sure you do not go to...